Hello Tri Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Tremor mod. Today I'm actually going to be starting the episode by going to the dungeon. I'm probably going to do that in my free time and I'm going to be waiting for this NPC that spawns in the sand biome because the NPC sells the final boss for pre-hard mode after kind of messing around in the dungeon a little bit, getting some more accessories just so we have them. I'm going to be coming back, hopefully we have the NPC by then and then we can go destroy that new boss and then we're going to be doing the wall of flesh fight and going into hard mode kind of an interesting episode today today should be really fun if we get enough time and also i apologize in advance if i sound a little tired today i'm quitting caffeine right because i drink a lot of it i drink a lot of energy drinks i've spoken about this before in videos i drink a lot of energy drinks i drink a lot of coffee during the day and to be honest, it's not really good for you. Well, it kind of isn't and kind of isn't. So if I sound tired today, that's all it is. I'll be uh, I'll be good in a few days. So yep. Yeah, so with that out of the way, let's begin today's episode. Well, just a little status update. I've actually got everything I wanted from the dungeon now. I've got a shadow key because we found a shadow chest. I got a menacing cobalt shield, which I may turn into an obsidian shield. Actually, the only thing that I actually wanted other than this was a bewitching table and I can't seem to find one and I have checked the whole place so uh, mine may not have a bewitching table or maybe I've missed it hmm, maybe that's a possibility but I'm thinking about coming back to the surface soon and uh, just carrying on with whatever else, whatever else I need to get doing because what I could do is I could spend some time waiting for the new NPC by um, actually like waiting around, uh, not waiting around, but building the uh, stadium for the Wall of Flesh. I think that would be like a good uh, use of my time and such. So I may do that and uh, yeah, and I'll see where that takes us after that. So we'll do a little jump cut now and we'll go do some building in hell. Okay, so I know I said I'd be jump cutting to the Wall of, not the Wall of Flesh, but hell. I instead thought, well, I've got lots of time to kill, I want that NPC, so what I'll do is I will just basically go and cruise through the jungle to go find an Aglet of Wind, because I wanted to uh, combine it with my, um, well, not the Aglet, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I wanted to combine it with my Spectre boots and stuff and get some, like, nice fast boots while I was waiting, but, you know, I couldn't. So what I thought I'd do is I would show you how a fight against Queen Bee goes in the Tremor mod. Obviously, it's the exact same as a normal mode fight, I imagine, but we have this weapon. So I thought we'd give it a shot. So it's been quite some time while waiting for the um, the new sand biome NPC. So I'm not too sure if it actually does spawn in. Nobody's confirmed it in the comment section down below. So I assume for now that it spawns in randomly. And then when it's spawned in, you can obviously spawn the boss and such. So I'll just have to wait. I mean, I've been pretty unlucky this series so far when it comes to uh, waiting with stuff. Obviously, like I had to go through 15 worlds just to get a living loom, which was pretty insane when you think about it. So I've not had the best of luck. I'll tell you what, this boss is going down pretty easy actually, isn't it? Nice. Can't really complain about this fight. <laughs> this sword though is so fun. I love it. I love the little spiders. I think if this was a hard mode sword, I'd still use it. As in the sense of like, it was this in hard mode, I'd still use it. It's just so fun to use. Right, okay. This one's almost dead. There we go. <laughs> Did we get anything cool from it? I'll tell you what, probably not because my inventory is mighty full. Um, oh, that's cool. We've got a little pet. Did I equip it then or did I just drop it? Did I equip it? Where did I put it? Oh, did I put it in the trash? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Should we have that instead of our uh, our pet? All right, let's get rid of this stuff. This can all help as well when we have the uh, actual fight going on. I'll tell you what, I'll keep that honey. I'll get rid of that golden key because we're not going to be using that. Yeah, not a bad fight at all, actually. Kind of an interesting one. Thought that would kill some time, though. So I'm going to keep looking for an aglet and we'll see if that NPC spawns in. So I was thinking earlier that I'd do something interesting with my accessories. So I purchased... Obviously, I've got the Bloomstone. I purchased a Wild Twilight Horns. And this gives... If you see over here, it gives more power during the night. So I thought I'd get something else, which is the Dragon Dam, which increases regeneration during night. So I now have all of the night accessories, and if I put them together, I can make the nightly combination increases life regeneration damage and makes you glow, glow in the during night. Yeah, a little bit of a spell mistake there, but kind of cool. So, uh, so I've got that now. So when we do the wall of flesh fight, if we do it during the night, we'll have better luck and such. Still haven't found the NPC. But what I did have to do is I had to make another split room for the Witch Doctor because obviously the Witch Doctor moves straight into here 
when I killed the Queen Bee. So, I'm still holding out. I did manage to craft my Lightning Boots, which is good, which will help with the fight. So, I think I'm going to start building... I think I'm going to start building the, uh, the track for the Wall of Flesh. The only thing is, I'm not too sure what blocks to build out of. I think I might go with Dirt and then go with Ash. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to show? I feel like there was one more thing I wanted to show. Um, no, there's one thing I wanted to craft. I wanted to craft a watch. Right, what ore have we got? Have we got any good ore? Um, I guess we can make it out of tungsten. Right, so have we got a chain? Oh, that's cool. A band. What does a band do? Should we have a little look? Crafting band. Oh, vortex ring. 20% increased range damage. Oh, so these are ancient manipulator stuff. Um, but you can make a band of regeneration and a band of star power. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's interesting, that is. That's an interesting concept. I like that. That's good for worlds that don't have any. I like this. This mod is adding stuff that I kind of want. Right, so I'm going to get crafting a watch and then I'm going to start building in hell. So another little jump cut. Okay, so the track has been built in hell. It's looking pretty long, which is good. So we'll be able to defeat the thing. Uh, but yeah, so the track is now built. We have still not had that NPC move in, right? Which leads me to believe that it may be bound in the desert, like like tied up. So I'm going to have one last little look at the desert. If I can't seem to find it, I'm going to move on. We're obviously going to carry on with the rest of the series. Uh, and then when it does show up eventually, if it does, we can use it then. Um, I also opened up these uh, shadow chests. I didn't find anything like truly amazing. I'm just going to bin most of this stuff anyway because I don't really like it. Uh, but I did find whatever you can see here. So, ah, warding. I like these. I like magma stones. I really do. Let me see if it would work well with the spiders. Let's say we didn't have the regen on. And we have the spiders. Would it would it make flaming spiders? That accuracy though. It's like passing through it. <laughs> Alright, well it just makes a flaming sword. Kinda cool though, kinda cool though. It looks very interesting. Let me see. Let's see if we can do more damage to this boat. Dode. I <laughs> couldn't even get my words out then. Yeah, kinda cool. Awesome. Right, so I'm gonna have a little look around here. Um I guess you guys can come along for the adventure real quick, so you guys can can see what's going on in here. Man, if you guys know that it just spawns in on its own, then you're probably going to be very annoyed watching this. But if not, and you're like me, then this could be some thrilling stuff. But now, once this is had a little look around, I'm going to definitely fight the Wall of Flesh because it's all ready now. We've got the stuff. I just need to craft some potions. Uh, and then we should be ready. Like I said, like everything is set to go. I may enchant the Arachnophobia. Um, and obviously we've got to wait until night time. So I'm going to wait until night time. That's when we're going to face him. We're going to face him at night time. So I have all these extra buffs and such. But I think it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to be a very successful fight. One, because we have kind of an overpowered sword. And two, I've kind of got used to Wall of Flesh fights now. To the point where like I'm, I'm like pretty good at them. Like I've managed to get the movements down. But then again, I could be being naive. And we get absolutely wrecked. But we'll have to see. But it'd be good if we could just do this final pre hard mode boss, because then we've literally smashed every single boss in pre hard mode in such a short amount of time as well, which is kind of impressive. Yeah, I can't seem to find him. I think I'm going to potter around, make some potions, and then at the night, we're going to fight the Wall of Flesh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and then in hard mode, there's lots of stuff for this mod. Lots of lots of stuff. I think there's even more stuff for this mod in hard mode, so that's going to be awesome to check out. Lots of new armors, lots of new weapons. Be excited, people. We got some good stuff coming. Some very good stuff. Oh yeah, that was a gem cave I found. Very cool. And I missed some gems. <laughs> okay, so we're on our way to go fight the Wall of Flesh. I did not get the NPC in the end, so yeah, maybe next time we'll get something like that. But I am ready. I've got a regen and iron skin because I want to do this kind of like raw. I've not been fishing this whole series. Obviously, I would have included some clips of that. I've not been fishing at all. And I don't know if that's going to be a hindrance later on when we don't have the potions that we want, like life force or, you know, we don't have ribbon koi or armored cave fish. So I think maybe we might have to get into fishing. We'll see how hard some of these hard mode bosses are really going to be. Obviously, with fishing, it takes a lot of time, so we'd have to like dedicate just a little bit of time to fishing in the future. Uh, so yeah, other than that, I just have a standard loadout of what I'm going to use, what I've been using the whole series, pretty much. I have the Harpy set. 
which includes a harpy helmet, chest plate, and leggings. I also, accessories wise, I have a warding magma stone just because I like that for defense. I have a nightly combination which improves life, regen, damage, and makes you glowing during the night. Uh, I have the warding lightning boots because obviously it's plus four defense and lightning boots, man, come on. Uh, a menacing cobalt shield which I wanted to turn into obsidian shield but I thought may as well keep that menacing just for now since we don't have too much gold. Uh, and then I've got my clown the bottle just for help. And it's also got plus four melee speed which isn't too bad. So pretty decent loadout, pretty, pretty good loadout, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'll be interested to see if we can actually do this. I'm also going to be using V-Nades at the start just to help out a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't wreck me. I've had series in the past where using V-Nades straight away has wrecked me. Um, because of like I've just done too many at once and it's not panned out how I wanted. So we'll just see. And I have my guide Voodoo Doll here ready to throw. So it's going to be an interesting fight. I want to see what you guys think. Uh, if you'll do it or not. Let me know. Do you think I'll do it? Well, you are about to see, but just, you know, keep a mental note of it inside of yourself. Keep a mental note, you don't have to write it down anywhere, just think. Will Chippy beat the wall of flesh? I feel like I will. I feel like I'm quite confident enough to do it. We're going to wait, though, until the, my ball, at least my body, my body turns glowing, because I need it to glow so that I know that it's proper night time. Obviously, we do have this clock here, so that will help. I think we've just passed another little clock, because it started being more accurate. So it's half past four, and I believe the night time on this thing, although like night time is half six if I remember correctly, although I am often unsure about these things, um, but it didn't kick in until 8pm last time I had this on, so I'm not too sure about that when it will actually be. I also have the, um, the one, oh this is new, I've not actually found one of these, it must have gone down from the jungle, what's it called, Woody, well Woody, tell me all about yourself, and Buzz, yeah he didn't drop out. Yeah, I've got the Molten Pickaxe this time because I didn't have it equipped earlier when I was doing all my mining and it probably would have been better because it is more powerful than using uh, the drill. Although the drill is awesome, apparently the uh, diamond drill is even better that I didn't craft. Oh no, it's building... Ooh, it's doing the, uh, the, the weird angle thing. Right, well we're going to wait here just for another minute or two. I may as well just get a little bit more building done. That's what I keep saying to myself, like, get a little bit more done just in case the uh, the platform doesn't go well. I think until here we'll do it though, and I think after that we'll wing it enough. Let's put up a little uh, cloud there. <laughs> I'm sure that'll help. Right, so we're doing all right. We don't have any regen stuff on at the minute, but uh, we could probably swap that over for now and get some regen going. Should we get two lots of regen going? There we go, let's stand here and regen for a minute. So we're nice and healed. Only got 280 health. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a hindrance or not, 280 health. Could have been 300, but I didn't find the uh, the heart crystals. But I'm sure when we're exploring in the uh, in the hard mode, we'll find them straight away anyway. I'm just firing this way because I don't know what's over there. But there's always something. Yeah, it's a demon. Some more demon blood there, not bad. I think I've got like four pieces of it now. But to, to craft anything of use, you need like eight or something like that. And like even still, it, they, they don't seem to be great items. All right, I'm all regened up. Well, I'm very almost regened up. Look at that. Right. Okay. Now it's time to see if it's actually night time for us. What we're gonna do is we're gonna. What's this? This is on 27 melee damage. Take it off. 27. Yeah. So it's not night time yet for us. When this moves and we start glowing, which I think will be in about a minute. Uh, we'll be ready to fight. I'm excited to do this because we're going into hard mode of a we're going into the hard mode of a mod, which is which is a little bit unique, but interesting. All right, just a minute left. Oh, uh, yeah, boys, what are we gonna get up to? I'm excited. <laughs> I'll take out this slime. There you go, mate. All right, we're almost ready. We're almost ready. Just a few more seconds now, and then we'll be ready. Just want to make sure this is all fluid. Yeah, it seems to be working pretty well. There we go. There's them buffs. Shine and Night Owl. Nice. So we glow. We've got extra damage. We've got extra regen. Ah, oh, this is good. This is good. All right. Okay. Let's wait one minute just so that we can hull up, uh, hull up feely, meaning heal up fully. Okay. Let's just wait one more minute just to make sure we've got the best possible start we can do. 
Right, what are we on? 60, 67. Right, okay, there we go. Oh, nope, didn't do that right. Okay, let's give this one more shot. Not take any more dumb damage. Oh, I lost the demon blood. I wanted that. Right, wait a sec. I'm just going to make sure that I'm just doing this from the right angle. Oh, I've lost all our health as well. <laughs> like an idiot. Right, we'll wait one more minute just to heal up fully. Because we're just getting too much stupid damage at the minute. It seems like everyone just wants to attack us just because we're going to have a fight. <laughs> right, we're going to wait one minute and then we'll be ready. Oh my god, what is going on with all these stuff? Getting lots of demon blood, which is cool. How long does this last? Five minutes. We're going to take that now. So we'll take both of our buffs now. And we'll heal up. Right, okay. Whoa, let's avoid this. Let's get this going. Man, I do not like starting fights where I'm overwhelmed with enemies. I like it to be completely calm before we start, just so we've got the best possible chances. T. Right, okay, there we go. Fight's going to start. Awesome. Right, here we go. Come on, bad boy. Let's go. Alright, gotta remember, can't shoot too many of these at once. Just because it's not as effective, apparently. You, uh, you gonna come down here, buddy? You seem to be, uh, you seem to be up there, man. We're having, we're having one of them fights, are we? Alright, I've used all of them. Right, okay, onto the sword. We're having one of these fights. <laughs> Where it's, uh, a little bit too hard for us to actually even aim at. Wow, you really are hard to aim at, Wall of Flesh. You're being very funny today. Ah, uh, come on. Let's not do the thing where you hug the top of the roof. Come on, I've been waiting for this for a while. There we go. Alright, okay, we're doing good damage to it, to be honest. Can't really complain about the damage. What's it on? Half health now? Half health? Half health, I've not really felt the scratch of it yet. Alright, there we go. You're getting down to our level now. Hey, there we go. Another voodoo doll. You're going to drop some demon blood as well? Yeah, I thought you would. You love doing it now, don't you? Dropping all that demon blood. Well, after I've just said that we're not getting enough of it. Okay. You are riggedy, riggedy wrecked, son. Should have come down here because that's the way I was meant to go. Okay. You ready? You ready? Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right, almost done. Almost done. There we go. Wubble up up dub. Absolutely smashed. What did we get? Pone hammer and a Oh we got oh okay, we got the pieces of flesh that we've mentioned before. I mentioned this if you don't remember, I mentioned this once before that there is a Oh my god, already on to the mimics. Starting off with a mimic, man. What's going on with that? We really are in hard mode. Can't complain about Star Cloak. Okay, so the pieces of flesh, the piece of flesh, is a crafting material that you can use. If we had another guide, which I don't think we do, do we? Let me just check that. Do we have a do we have another guide? No, if we had another guide, I'd do another wall of flesh fight right now. Uh, just to get some more of that uh, pieces of flesh. I, I'm sure we can just do more in the future. Because it's a it's a whole other armor set on its own, uh, if I remember correctly, it's like a, it's like a like it's an armor set, essentially, yeah. And I think it all needs to be crafted with the demon blood crafting station. So, right, well, we are in hard mode now, so we're going to do some hard mode things, some minor hard mode things, and that's going to be it for today. Get lots of demon blood. Get lots of demon blood. There we go. Everything's going to get a little bit more hard, man. You could not complain about the timing of that mimic, though. Okay, I've got everything, haven't I? Yeah, which, um, what did I get then? I got the... I got the Zelius Assault Rifle, which is great. Did I get an emblem? Or am I just not seeing it? I don't think I got an emblem, did I? No, you. I think you only get a weapon or an emblem, don't you? Yeah. Seems that way. Could have done with an emblem, to be honest. Could have done with one. Just to make crafting a little bit easier. But we are going to be farming the Wall of Flesh very soon. So, I would love to immediately check out what the pieces of flesh does, but we're going to have to wait until the morning for our guide to spawn in. But until then, uh, we have some orbs to smash. We have two lots of orbs. We have a big bunch here, 
Uh, and we'll should have a big bunch over there. So I'm going to go smash this side first, and then we'll uh, then we'll work on the next side tomorrow. Man, my cold is really setting in. Okay, let's go. Shouldn't take us too long to get there. Got to be careful. Obviously, everything's going to be a little bit more harder now. Oh, so this is a hallowed den. Nice. Love a good hallowed desert. Looks cool. I'm just getting the common nighttime enemies now. Nothing uh, nothing new hard mode-wise. How, how well can we take on a wraith? Do you know what? We can absolutely smash wraiths. I tell you, man, this is such a good hard mode sword. It really, really is. Okay. Into the pool we go. Just up here. And in through the mouth. Is this the mouth? That's meant to be the mouth. Oh, the mouth's on the other side. The mouth of the crimson. Okay, time to get smashing. So we're going to smash all the demon altars to get the ore, obviously. Uh, not too sure how much of the ore we're going to use. I'm not too sure how progression works in hard mode with this boss. Uh, with this boss, with this mod. So I'm going to carry on as normal and then include everything new that I find. Did you see that cobalt randomly up here? If you had keen eyes then you'd have seen that. Oh, I thought that was a double one we could keep destroying them. It just carries on. Ooh! Yeah, got one there. Look, blessed with cobalt. Hmm. Looks like we might be crafting the golden shower at some point soon. Yeah. Should have a lot of wraiths after me now, yeah. There should be a lot more than that, though. Ooh! Hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh my god, we've really entered into the pool of death. Alright, let's get rid of all of these guys first. These are your basic uh, coming into hard mode enemies. Man, I'm not looking forward to when that uh, to when that nighttime buff ends on our accessories. I'm gonna make sure we kill everything before the night. Right, race for all dead. Let's kill the in core, the in core sticker, the I core sticker. Right, okay. Kill these guys. Get solar night. Ah, oh, look at this, crimson thingy, my bob. Nice. I think that's it for hard mode enemies for now, and I think we've got enough ore in the world. Starting off really good though, really positive with some souls and night, aren't we? Yeah, starting off real good. Oh, so is this our temple? Oh, that's an, inter an interesting place for a temple. Okay, is that going to do it for now? I believe it is. Yep, so that's going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching. When I go back to the house, I'm going to wait for another guide to spawn, and tomorrow we'll farm for some flesh stuff, and uh, we'll carry on from there. Very interesting start to hard mode. We're actually doing pretty well, if I might say so myself. Yeah. Okay, so have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.